Hello everyone, this is Oshini from Chinta.com. Today, I want to talk to you about three important learning strategies. You know, from 2010, we have worked with thousands of students from all over the world, from India, US, United Kingdom, Australia, Middle East. And some of the students actually performed brilliantly in the National Olympiads, Mathematics, Physics, Computer Science, in research programs, in ISI, CMI entrances, and so on. And we observed these students for over 10 years now. We have learned something from these students. We have learned how the really good students, how the well performers study. What is the key idea what are the key strategies of learning? And today, I want to share those with you in a nutshell. So if you are a student of Chinta, and we have now 700 students, then you can follow these strategies and without fail, and I can tell this with some conviction because I have been doing this for last 14 years, that you will be successful in learning beautiful mathematical sciences and moreover you'll be successful in those olympiads in those contests that you that will take you to the highest seats of knowledge chinta students are today at the best universities in the world like harvard mit oxford isi cmi tifr in india and so on and we learn every day from our students so here are the three main learning strategies that you can use in 2024, in fact, in any year when you are studying mathematical science. And I'll also tell you how Chinta programs can help you with those three strategies. So here's the first one. The first one is face great problems every day. If you are a student of Chinta and if you are t grade 7 or above, you are probably attending the homework class and the concept class and you are probably attending the 4 or 5 days a week problem solving sessions. Now you may have noticed something. You may have noticed that the students who attend the concept in homework class, the two classes, not all of them actually attend the problem solving classes. That's the sad truth. That's something very surprising, though we say this over and over again. Not everyone attends the four to five problem solving sessions every week. There are a variety of reasons that students give when they do not attend the problem solving classes. They say they are too hard. There is something else going on at that time. I have an exam. I have to go to a friend's house. So and so forth. The reasons, the excuses are manifold. But you know what? What we have observed is that students who have regularly attended the problem solving classes no matter what they are the ones who are successful in learning beautiful mathematical science and they are the ones who do really well in those olympiads in the entrances and so on you can check the track record of chinta students they are really astonishing especially for the people who have attended the problem solving classes regularly. I'll give you one example. In the last year, in 2023, in IOQM, the first level of mathematical Olympiads in India, we had about 107 students from Chinta who appeared for IOQM and 23 of them were successful. Now, the fun fact is about, out of those 107 students, only about 25 to 30 people regularly attended the problem-solving classes. 
and the entire success of Steen Chetda students is from those 30 people. So this is statistically true that if you attend the problem solving classes regularly, it's no magic. It's very simple. Every day you do good mathematics. You do beautiful mathematics. That's or physics or computer science, whatever you're taking. You do it every day. You do it like a machine. Even when you're, if, there will be days when you when you won't like to do that problems. You have something else going on in your mind. That will happen. But even on those days, you come back, you take the problem solving class, you do some problems, and that's called professionalism. And in the winning students, the students were the real winners over the last 12 to 15 years. We have observed this thing. That's the first thing. The second thing, which is extremely important, is self-driven learning. So, of course, you are taking classes, life classes at Chinta. You are taking the problem-solving sessions. But we also have the self-driven modules where you can actually go online, watch a video, take a small quiz, and that will let you progress at your own rate. It's very important to use both of these components. The live classes, which contains the module tests, the mock tests and everything, and the self-driven section, where you are actually progressing at your own speed. You can see the software's visuals in the screen now, where there are module-wise, topic-wise videos and quizzes and tests. So make sure to take the advantage of both of these things. Self-driven learning can be an excellent way to learn. The most successful students are actually self-starters. They learn by themselves. Of course, they learn from the classes, they learn from friends, but they also learn by themselves. They read books, they watch videos, they actually physically do a ton of problems. So that's the second thing. Use the self-paced modules along with the live classes. That's the second thing. And the third thing, perhaps the most important thing, talk to your peers and teachers. The most successful students are usually the most interactive in the class. They discuss with their friends about problems, about the difficulties that they are facing. Collaboration is the key to success. There is no other way. The data is absolutely clear on this. So if you are in Chinta, then you are already in a fantastic peer group. Hundreds and hundreds of students are together and they are trying to focus on learning outstanding mathematical sciences, physics, informatics, and so on. Make sure to collaborate with one or two kids who are inside your own class. Meet them once a week, virtually, meet them virtually, and brainstorm on some problems. Maybe you are stuck on a problem, ask them a question. Try to think about the problems that they're stuck on. Great mathematical science happens out of collaboration. So these are the three things that you can do that the winners have done in the past. Number one, attend the problem solving classes that is be regular. Do beautiful problems. 
every day number 2 use self driven content number 3 collaborate i hope this video has been useful for you if you are new to our channel welcome we passionately discuss about mathematical sciences here we have outstanding programs on olympiads iscmi entrances research you can check the link in the description for more detail and i hope i'm sure you will like it thank you for joining us today i'll see you in the next one bye